all right everybody it's day 12 uh, today I just wanted to talk to you about uh, a few uh, things uh, things are actually going good at the gallery uh, a little bit lack of sleep uh, but that's uh, not a new information anymore I got about two hours of sleep last night uh, uh, but I, I feel I feel really good about it uh, uh, I um, uh, I, uh, I uh, the energy is good I have uh, many friends visiting uh, me Kerry Frank visited me uh, Sean Fader visited me. Thank, thank them very well. They both, they both uh, uh, brought company and brought uh, some food. So thanks a lot. But I, I wanted to show you some of you a question: um, uh, the uh, the mechanism, or whether if this is uh, real or not. Um, I just wanted to show you uh, what's going on right here, and uh, that you know, um, uh, this is the gun I have, and of course it's controlled by uh, a control system and uh, the control system is very much uh, pulling the trigger every time you fire it and uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's operated by solenoid here and when you press the shoot button it, it shoots on you and there is your camera view here and this is what you see very much on online when, when you are logging in the camera very much hands and uh, shoot uh, as you could see the, the place is totally destroyed. Somebody is probably directing the gun, so I wanted to get a shot at the cylinder and hopefully they will fire it now so you will have a better idea of what's, what's going on here in this room. And you could see uh, that's somebody looking for me, of course, or for a target to, to hit. Uh, and I just wanted to show you the mechanism behind it and just the solenoid and how loud uh, this could be. people moving it so it's a, it's a very simple uh, uh, it's a very simple device uh, it, it's hooked it is hooked up to uh, a gas line and the gas line uh, just feeding the, that's a which which uh, very much uh, behind uh, uh, just uh, the semi-automatic action of, of the gun and then a couple solenoids on on uh, on the side pulling the trigger and then you've got a mechanism down here driving driving the step motor driving everything so everything every time you click uh, the gun moves about five degrees and here you go that's how the solenoid work and that's how loud it gets here and of course it's uh, much louder in the evening than uh, during the day now it's about four o'clock in the afternoon a lot of activities in the gallery but uh, when uh, when it gets to four o'clock in the morning it's extremely loud uh, uh, I have to say uh, bye for now but uh, just let you know I'm doing very well and the energy is great and uh, please uh, keep participating keep uh, sending your emails uh, and keep sending your support I greatly appreciate it but uh, bye for now I guess if I wanted to add one one more thing uh, to uh, to what I said earlier about the gun and mechanism and how it works I, I would just uh, wanted to do uh, some some people complain about uh, there's no paint coming out of uh, the gun so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna uh, sequeegee this uh, a screen uh, uh, a screen I have in a flex screen I have uh, uh, for uh, in the front of me and uh, then I we're gonna wait for a shot to be taken at us so, so you could you could you could you could see it and then I am going to take the screen back uh, uh, and then wait for somebody to hit us. There we go. That's better. So we'll, we'll wait for here for a second. There you go. Did you see that? Okay. We'll 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 tape it a few times for for you uh, there, and then you could you could see. <coughs> It's actually uh, quite a beautiful, uh, all these marks on the plexi glass. Unfortunately, it become from a violent act, which is very sad. And you could, you could see somebody probably, probably will get a hit us repeatedly.
I'm uh, glad I didn't uh, uh, when when we talk about the design. I'm very glad uh, I didn't design it uh, when people could have control over the tilt. Uh, it be a disaster. I guess you saw that one here in the um, the plexi. Uh, so it's a, it's a, an issue. Uh, at the safety issue. I did not design it when it's just. Uh, people could have a uh, pan and, and tilt. Uh, this w I, uh, I know the line of uh, uh, fire and then I could uh, build uh, things that could prevent uh, uh, or it could, it it could uh, more safer places uh, for me. Or at least when I walked into the um, if I need to dodge uh, I just could drop down uh, on the ground and I'm, I'm safe just in case I get off guard and don't have any protection. And you can see just uh, the gun is uh, is always uh, going and it's just looking for somebody or something to hit. But uh, it's quite a, a, a fascinating, uh, fascinating mechanism and it's, it's quite a uh, become a quite obsessive uh, uh, to to watch it. You could see people fighting over it, and there is just a shot, and it went just flash in in the other uh, screen. All right, uh, uh, let's let's see if uh, they're coming this way. Yeah, somebody's bringing the gun back. And here is there is the result right here. There you go. You see it now. Somebody just doing uh, a few people doing multiple or just a uh, few people hitting or, uh, one after another, and that's what you get. All right, I, uh, I, there you go, that's, a, that's another one up there. Uh, I think you have a, a better idea now. And uh, again, I say goodbye, but it's uh, really uh, unwise of uh, me to stand behind in front of the gun with uh, no protection at all. But I, I'm, I, as I said, I'm uh, just uh, trying to be safe when when I know the the pan line, uh, uh, I know uh, how to protect myself. So, um, uh, uh, and uh, I'll say goodbye for now.